and thank you for clicking on this video i mean i i'm pretty grateful for the support and love of late um we're growing we're growing i mean this year has been a wonderful year due to the number of subscribers and views i think it's much better than all the years so yeah if you are new on the channel hit on the subscribe button what we do here is entertainment cinematography and anything that go to do with tech so yeah um I mean, I've been in the photography and filmmaking game for quite some time now, and I feel like sometimes it's best I share my ideas out there. You never know who you're helping. I mean, you guys do know that um, learning got no limits, honestly. Learning really got no limits. So there is something that caught my attention recently, and I prefer to put this out there so you guys can learn a bit more um, from this. And this is not to say that a lot of people do not know about this. I mean, it's 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 been around for a while and you guys don't know. I mean, especially people who have been in the game for quite some time now. So yeah, um, this is the camera. This is 7D. I'm not talking about the camera here. I'm actually talking about the battery grip attached to this camera. And if you do not know what a battery grip is, this is a battery grip. Okay. So what it, this simply does to the camera is... Um, Remember, every camera that you buy these days in the market contains a single battery. I mean, most of the cameras, let me put it that way, that I do get my hands on, contains one battery. And sometimes it becomes a problem because assuming that you get a, I mean, a paid gig, let's say a wedding that's got to do about six hours or seven, eight hours, I mean, photography, it's very tough to go to this location with a single battery. Imagine going there with a single battery and then everything is going well. <laughs> you, you're busy enjoying taking some awesome photos, then <laughs> battery is dead. Trust me, that is a poor experience that nobody wants to ever experience. I mean, it's, it's unprofessional, okay? In the middle of, I mean, an occasion, you just run out of power, you have to charge, and you may even end up forgetting your charger at home, which means you have to use your phone, and your phone will not be able to provide, I mean, the max quality that you need for such events. It's, it becomes a problem. So, um, for those who do not know, uh, I think in my game or in my time of, I mean, photography and cinematography, what has really saved me um, over the years is a battery grip. So... Explaining what a battery grip means or what it does. Here's the camera. Here's the battery grip. I'm putting the camera away. I mean, it's got nothing to do with the video. So here's the battery grip. Um, it's 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 in this form. Most of them are actually in this form. And I mean, the camera uses one battery, like I mentioned, but this packs two batteries. And I think there is some that even goes around three, three batteries, if I'm not mistaken. So this particular unit that I have packs up to two batteries. So what this does is you slap in two batteries into this thing. Um, what am I struggling to? Hey, 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 behave yourself. Okay, so there we go. There we go. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. You insert two batteries in this and then this will be able to hold you for... I don't know how long but honestly it does it has it has never failed me i don't think there have been a situation whereby i've been able to consume both batteries in unless maybe your batteries are not good so what happens when i have a special occasions or a heavy i mean upcoming serious gig that i've been paid to handle something that i'm like yo i need to really get this done in a professional way i make sure all my batteries are charged and also make sure your battery got a good health okay it doesn't mean because you have a battery grip, if your batteries are not even powerful or are not strong enough, it should be able to, I mean, take you the whole day. That's, 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 that's false. So with this, I just slap in two batteries, power it to the camera, I mean, connect it to the camera, and then I'm good to go. And trust me, I, I, can, I don't even know how many photos I can shoot without this going off. And I don't only go with this, okay? Whilst I have two batteries in this thing, I still got some additional batteries aside about two extra ones as well which really takes me i mean it's it's it will make sense or i know people will be, will be like okay vim but what if i have three batteries and i don't have the battery grip well that is also fine but here comes i mean the nice part okay sometimes on a wedding when you are busy filming let's say you shoot in a video you don't you you hardly have the time to come remove batteries and along the line when your power is dead now you'll be busy on screen things and now I, i've actually experienced this before i was busy trying to take off a battery change to a new one 
during the process, the pastor was like, now you may kiss the bride. Do you know how... <laughs> do you, I don't know if you guys do get my frustration, but do, you may kiss your bride. I mean, that is the part that you don't want to mess in the footage. Like, yo, trust me, <laughs> it was crazy. I, but I managed to apologize to, I mean, um, the bride and, and the, the, the whatever. And things came to an agreement. Because honestly... You don't want this to happen to you. You really do not want this to happen to you. That is why I get myself power with a battery grip so that, I mean, I manage, I must, I must be able to capture all the moment. Unless if I say that, no, this moment is not okay. I don't need it. Let's just cut it out. Well, that's fine. But if you are really a professional photographer or videographer, filmmaking, and trust me, most of cinematographers, that's why most cinematographers do carry V mount battery around i mean those big batteries that you see behind the cameras those are the ones that those ones i mean they, they really especially for black magic users they really got that all over when whenever they go in they, they take that thing around because um I, I think at that time black magic did not implement this but now the new black magic got it so yeah so um yeah this battery grip has really served me i mean a long headache and it has really done I mean, it, it has really served me well. Let me just put it that way. So, if you are an up upcoming filmmaker, cinematographer, photographer, whatever you are that you operate cameras or use these gears on daily, regular basis, I will really suggest you get yourself these battery grips. It's not that expensive. I think in South Africa, you can pick one for um, a thousand or thousand five, depending on the camera. That is excluding the battery. So, and it does not only power. It's not only about it's, I mean, giving you a long life of, uh, not just that. But another thing is, check the grip. Like, you do get massive grip. And I think I really, it's got a lot of advantages. But, yo, I really prefer the two out of this, which has to do with the long lasting of the battery. And then the how how you hold it how comfortable it is to hold so um when i'm having a photo i mean photographic gig or something and i want to go on portrait mood that's simple you just go and then there's another shutter here there's another shutter button here so if you don't want to use this one here you just go this way and then everything becomes easy man i mean this thing has really served me um a lot of headaches it has really done a great job i feel empty when i don't have a battery grip on a camera and I, every camera that i buy i make sure that i get myself one on it even my eos r got one on it the 7d unfortunately when i bought it it's it's had one already so um yeah if if you are like i said if you are a serious photographer or videographer Trust me, you don't want to walk around with a single battery. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for coming, guys. I hope I did advise someone today. If you are new on the channel, please do me a favor. Click on the subscribe button. Like this video as well. Do all the clickings, man. Except for... <laughs> Thank you very much for coming, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Be safe. Peace.